up YouTube, it's your boy Cam Bam bringing you another episode of Madden 18 Online Game. We are on a somewhat of a win streak, me sleeping, especially with the Falcons. And we have and we are playing another game in Mercedes Benz Stadium with the throwback uniforms. Yes, there you go. And this time we taking on another another AFC South Bowl, the Indianapolis Colts. Let's see, the Colts haven't been the same team since they stepped on the Patriots in that championship game where they got blew out. Now the Colts, Andrew Love been injured, they got Jacoby Bosset, they got, they did had have the pick of this upcoming NFL draft, but they moved back six places. I think they're going to get Brad, Bradley Chubb, who is the cousin of Nick Chubb. So Chubb Town, from Cedar Town, Georgia. If you want to check that out. Anyway, we are, you know, trying to keep this winning streak alive, and you know, we just changed everything in our lineup. We have 20, 30 seconds to do all this. Doesn't take that long. Just wanna. I thought all my changes was made doing the game but you know it wasn't so but yeah but yeah but I'm gonna commentate towards the end of the video so enjoy this awesome game in Madden 18 26. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. To throw on second down is Locke. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll run with Mack. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Uh, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. A huge play that time for the Colts. 41 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Now Mack looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Here's Luck now on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. 
Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the 5-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. Second and goal as the offense looks to try to punch it in. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Now this will be play number 10 on this pretty long opening drive. Here's third and goal. Now a carry from Mack. And he will push his way forward down to about the three area here on fourth and goal. They've already gone for it and made it once on this opening drive. They're going to try it again on fourth down. They snap it to Locke. And that is going to be incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. And tough starting field position here. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now Ryan on second down. And now he's going to go down in the end zone. Down goes Matt Ryan. And that's a safety. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No, the safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game, but one of the goose eggs is gone. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get it to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Luck on first down. Completes it to Moncrief, left side. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. For the 50, it's Luck. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And he's brought down. Luck able to find Hilton there for a Colt first down. Speaking of Mr. T.Y. Hilton, he had a great game last week against the Texans. They certainly did. 175 yards, two touchdowns. Let's be honest, partner. When he sees Houston, 
The game just elevates, doesn't it? He's had 11 career games against him, if I'm looking at the numbers right over him. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Vic Beasley able to get him for a loss of about three. Second down, here's Locke. Buying time to his left. And some space here. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. From here, this would have been a 48-yarder, but no, they're going to go for it. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Vinatieri now ought to try the field goal for the Colts. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will give us the very rare score line of five to nothing. So it's our first offensive points of the game so far, and it gives us a very rare scoreline. We don't see this one often, 5-0. Yeah, it's been sort of a weird one to this point, hasn't it? But hey, in this league, you take points any way you can get them. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. On third down, Ryan. Connects with Sanu right side. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Ryan. Here's Sanu on the catch. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Ryan to Sanu, good for an Atlanta first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Strong play, strong play. 
They run the play fake to Coleman. Now Ryan. Looking deep for Gabriel. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. But well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hand. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. That one 28 yards on the ground. They toss to Freeman. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different. Try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. On third down, Ryan on the screen. This is Coleman. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard at its fourth. Ryan escaping the pressure right finding Gabriel complete and he gets this one all the way down inside the 15 give him 27 yards that time and the Falcons are gonna get a first from the red zone now here's Ryan on first down now they go screen it's complete and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kevin Coleman, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are in for six. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. They'll try and run with Freeman. And he'll get into the end 
end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. From the gun, here's Love being chased out left. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third and a few inches. Out of the gun, Luck. Dancing to his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Vic Beasley able to get outside the numbers and drop him for a loss of a yard. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They're going to go. It's locked. And this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. And here now come the Falcons. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw it. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 34 yards. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Well, pardon me, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback right in the face of him puts him down. Here's Mack on the toss, and they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. The Colts on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and 19. Here's Luck. He's got it to Hilton. The 40, the 20, 10. 
him. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, 84 yards. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they design every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. I mean, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out come the Falcons now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And his pass incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. The Falcons on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Ryan. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And the defense definitely showing blitz here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Now think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And he finds a man with a crossing route. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Getting late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. They'll run here with Freeman. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, his second touchdown of the night, and the Falcons will add on to their lead. Now Sean. His throw incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double-dog dare yeah, them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when opposed to try something from the 15 on a PAT? The, I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. On first down, Locke. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. 
It's a foot race. 20. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Chester Rogers, 70 yards. And the Colts able to get this back with it, a touchdown. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. job here by the Falcons their hands team able to recover it well fourth quarter they felt like they needed the football back unfortunately they couldn't get it and I know we brought analytics into the game and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick 80 percent of the time the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. Brian wants to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here's Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Jones, 43 yards, and the Falcons will extend their lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. This one taken from the seventh. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Now luck. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Robert Alford. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that force you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. On second down, Freeman. <laughs> Freeman with a fast feed. Pass the 20. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kevin Coleman with his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons turn that interception into a touchdown. They try and run with Freeman. And he will get into the end zone to bump the lead up to three scores.
And this is going to be taken in by the Colts. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, not that giving up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam Bam, and we are back. And as you can tell, this was another great game. Now, he did come back a little bit, but, you know, a couple of last scores pretty much put this game out the window. So, it was a really good game, really entertaining game. I played well with the Falcons. That's my hometown team. So, it's like, you know, I have to lose with the Falcons. So, it is what it is. But, I don't know what he was trying to do, call him one second, all that stuff. He can't score. He ain't going to make this 50 plus yard field goal. But, anyway, thank you for watching my Madden 18 online games. More videos coming up soon. Stay tuned for some more videos.